Yo yo, it's good YouTube. This is Zango with you, and today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to add green sock and JSAP animations. Let me show you just a quick example of what we're gonna be doing today. Of course, you don't have to do the silly animation that I'm doing, but I'm just showing you guys what basically you could do with something like JSAP. Like, if we remove these tiles, for example, you could see the animations on their own. You could see that the text is going from like left to right, and this is going like 360, like it's a flip and that's basically it and we have a gray box that's also we just need to refresh to show that yeah the gray box over here that's doing a 360 flip as well all right so actually all you need to do guys is go into your functions.php that is in your root folder and in the previous videos guys i just include my assets into another file that's included that's why my functions.php is empty uh, I have it in another file that's in here, which is basically assets.php, and uh, we're basically gonna do here registering and unqueuing script for two things. All right, it's very simple. We're just gonna be registering the script from JSAP itself, and this is the cloud delivery network uh, script. We're just getting a minified version of JSAP. And this is basically an external library, you guys. So this is just a Greensock script I got from greensock.com. So if you go into greensock.com, just one second, you would find that this link is over here. Oh, I'm sorry, where is it? Here it is. And here's the link that's basically just the home page. So we're just gonna copy this. And it's already the same thing over here. I'm not gonna do that over again, but let me just basically the same thing and finally we're just gonna be in queuing the script and let me remove the comment all right so we're just unqueuing the script for here and finally we're just registering another script that's basically gonna be our custom JavaScript uh, script that we're gonna be adding so just go into your assets folder create a new folder called vendor and that's basically for any external libraries uh, make it a JSAP like I did over here and then JSAP custom.js you could also add this file wherever you want to All right, so this is basically how you register the files you unqueue the script and regis you register the script and then unqueue it and over here the only difference is just you're gonna add get template directory VRI because we're using a file instead of a link from the cloud delivery network Right, and the code is over here if you want also to copy and paste this we're basically just using an array over here and another array over here and one just stands for the version here we have the version at false we just didn't add the version which is basically the, this you could make it one you could make it whatever but I just added false for now and true and true all right oh so basically this is the code to register it and for you to test it I just needed to go into green sock and get this example you don't have to use this code but it's just basically an example and go to get started uh, I'm gonna add the link in the description and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to do the scroll animation while you're basically uh, scrolling down and stuff is gonna be showing up All right so let me just refresh that so all you need to do is basically just get getting started with JSAP uh, we registered the custom JavaScript so you're just gonna get this example just to test it out you don't have to use this code again like I said in CSS you don't have to um, copy the CSS you could just add some styling like I did over here and some HTML div divs just basically with the box green and all of that that's basically just gonna match the code that's over here so you could just make it like uh, JSAP to box for example let's see what that's gonna happen uh, so that kinda added a little bit of an animation I don't know if you saw that or not actually let's just do just one second yep that box that box that box let's see what's gonna happen all right that is actually very beautiful but as you can see you could like do the animations whatever you like and there are a lot of plugins that you can use also for JSAP like the scroll magic which is basically what we're gonna do in the next video guys but let me show you an example of what we're gonna do in video number 28 this is scroll magic pl plugin and uh, let me just get any example man this is code sandbox over here 
this is not my code by the way I'm just showing you an example of what we're gonna be doing in the video we're gonna do code from scratch but I just wanted to show you how we're gonna be uh, registering the script all right so as you can see like when we're scrolling down it's just doing a little bit of an animation like it's folding so we're gonna be do something something we're gonna do something like that in the next video again you guys thank you so much for watching comment and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video this was angry video and peace